Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about the concept of Azure File Share. So, Azure File Share uh, is a part of the Microsoft Azure portal, and as you can see, that I have already opened up the Microsoft Azure portal. So, uh, here, uh, if you remember, uh, if you are my regular watcher, then uh, you may know that. Uh, in the past we have made the videos on the concept of storage account so in this we can create a storage accounts and then we can create a containers and we can access the containers we can read into it we can write into it via the al extensions of the business central so in the same case in the storage account only i have already created one storage account so if I go inside the storage account, uh, you will see that we we generally get uh, different types of storage options. One is the container, which we have already seen, discussed and uh, handled this thing via the AL extensions. If you uh, have not watched that, uh, you can uh, check my playlist, technical playlist section and from there you can check this up. Now, uh, we will cover this concept called file share so first in the today's videos we will uh, create a new file share in the azure portal and then uh, in the next part we will see how to access this uh, resource and how to uh, insert the records or how to uh, read the files uh, which are there in this file share okay so a uh, file share as the name suggests it's something like sharing it promotes the sharing and it is not limited with only windows operating system but it is uh, accessible through linux through mac and everywhere right so if i click on the file share it is basically uh, it's it's like a client server communication protocol okay so where the client can directly read the data inside this file share can access the data can create the data and so on in simple layman terms uh, it's like a hard drive okay it's like a hard drive which is uh, available in the azure portal and you can access that you can mount this hard drive into your windows operating system into your uh, Mac file system so anywhere and it is it promotes or it's handles via SMB protocol which means that it is something like uh, you can not only mount but whatever uh, you locally store the files or handle the file into that particular location it will directly get sync into this Azure portal itself you will be able to see the modifications vice versa okay so uh, what we can do is that uh, as you can see currently there is no file share here uh, i'll uh, create the file share okay in case you don't know uh, how to navigate uh, to the file share first thing first is that when you go to the home tab you can search the storage account here okay right now uh, i can search here and you can see storage accounts and then uh, you have to create one storage account okay if you don't know you, as i told you I, you can watch my previous videos where i explained about how to create a storage account okay so i click on that and then here under the data storage option i can click on the file share and then i will click on plus to create a new file share okay so i can name this as go digit testing okay so here it is the name of my uh, storage account then access tier it is something uh, like options default option is transaction optimized you can select hot or cool based on how you want that uh, this resource which you are creating in the azure portal to be available for you right so 
I can select the default option only and you can see here that the maximum capacity is 100 TB. So as I told you, it's like a hard drive which you are uh, creating on the cloud itself. And to use the SMB protocol with this share check if you can communicate over port 445. Okay. So I will uh, like uh, as I told you that it promotes the SMB protocol. It handles via uh, like uh, like how you can mount this hard drive into your local file system, whether it's a Windows operating system, Linux operating system, Mac operating system. Okay, so there uh, you will able to do this thing via SMB protocol. So we have to know that whether my operating system is actually supporting. SME protocol or not if you want to know uh, you can uh, go to the control panel okay I can click on this go to the turn windows feature on or off here uh, if I come down so you can see here that SMB file sharing support uh, I have already ticked up here so that means my windows operating system is currently supporting it if it is not enabled you can enable the same and apart from that what uh, a notification they are saying that we have to test that whether uh, this port 445 is open and it is not blocked by the firewall okay because it uh, does the communication over this particular port okay so that is the thing now click on review plus create and then click on create okay so it will take few seconds and then it will be available for us now you can see that file share is available and this is my url right this is my url of the file share now first thing first is that if i want i can click on upload button and i can browse my local files here right so for example i can push this file here and upload so my file is now available here right current upload is this so this is done and my file is now a part of this file share which I can access from anywhere so this is uh, that thing but as I told you it promotes uh, like basically you can access it locally as well you can mount this as a local hard drive or a network drive into your uh, operating system so how to do that uh, one thing is that we have to click on this connect button and here you will see that options are coming up windows linux mac os so if you want to, uh, if you have a Windows operating system, then you have to select this option. By default, it is on Windows only. Then we have this drive letter suggestion. So it can, you can change the same. Currently it is drive letter. Z is set. If you, if you want, you can change the same. Any, any particular letter which you want to say. And uh, then it is saying the authentication method. Whether the Active Directory or Microsoft Entra, because both are same. Previously, it was uh, Active Directory, but now it is Microsoft Entra. Or the second thing is the storage account key. So like, like how you want to access this uh, on your local windows through the storage account key. So storage account is something which we have created here and it has the access key options available. So we can use this or we can use the Active Directory. So depending on whatever authentication method you want to opt for, you can select the same. Based on the selection, if you click on show script so it will give you this particular script okay I'll copy this up and let's see what is written in this script PowerShell IAC remember you have to uh, you can run this script uh, without administrator privileges so click on open if you uh, there is a catch however here uh, like I'll show you up but okay so first thing first is that I have copy pasted this script here now let's see first thing this is the first powershell command which they are running is something that uh, test net connection and computer name is this my file share url okay so basically uh, it is testing 
port 445 into like whether it is uh, not blocked or blocked by the firewall okay so this is the first thing if it is blocked then uh, you will not be able to mount this uh, drive as a network drive okay then if it is successful then what it is doing it is saving the password so the drive will persist on reboot okay so the password will get saved into your local so that when you uh, reboot your system or whether you are working on any particular virtual v machine itself so it will get persist the network drive will get persist even after uh, rebooting your system okay and this is something which it is doing that it is adding the url file server url and then the username you can see here the user so this is the username okay localhost slash this is my storage account name file server test pc and then the password this is the password okay password is as i told you in the authentication method we have opted for storage account key so it is nothing but a storage account key okay which uh, is available i'll show you up uh, for example here uh, if i click on cancel if i go to the storage account here uh, in the security access keys so this is uh, something you can see up here this is the storage account key all right so in the script uh, because the script is uh, automatically created based on the option you selected so i'm just explaining you that what exactly written in the script so that you know what script you are running okay so it has nothing but username password okay then the next step is mounting the drive so as i told you that this file share will be available into your local file explorer as a drive itself okay so if i let's say open this up my file explorer and if i show you this pc currently there is no network drive showing up now it is this command is basically uh, adding the uh, drive adding the file share as a drive itself which is the letter as z and the file system and this is the complete url of my file share code check testing okay with the persist tag let's run this up so you can see here that it is currently testing the connection and then credential added successfully and then the mount drive is added now if i show you up file explorer you can see this is available as a network drive and if i open this up you can see my file is available right my file is currently visible here let uh, me do one more thing that if i if i do something like go to l project 7 uh, let me copy this file as well and i'll go to my network drive and paste it here so now you can see that two files are showing up and it is automatically get synced with my file share itself so it will be available there i don't have to uh, be worried about that uh, where it is so you can see here you go to the browse option and you can see that immediately as you have added the file in your local file system it is showing up here as well so it is completely sync with each other there is no problem at all it is that much simple now you it will always be available as a drive and you know locally any hard drive or uh, anything is uh, if it is available it is super easy to use and you can control the things at your end now this is uh, currently with respect to the uh, you can see here the path also okay this is currently something uh, which we have seen in the windows one thing is 
that as I told you, if you click on connect and if you uh, if you run the script in the PowerShell with administrator privileges, it will not be visible. Right, it will not be visible here directly. So in that case, uh, you have to as I told you, you have to run the script either without administrator or then you can follow this uh, manual method as well that where, where you can click on map network drive and here you can provide the path with the connect using different credentials and then you have to pass the username and password which I told you uh, in the script itself and that is how you can uh, make the drive available. But I don't... Uh, I don't know whether if anybody would like to do this manual activity when uh, we are getting the script uh, automatically for us from the Azure portal itself and we just have to run it without administrative privileges. Okay. Yeah. So it will be available here. Okay. So now when it is uh, we have seen here it is done. Now let's try to see that uh, if we can do the same in the mac os also so if i click on mac os you can see that to connect to this file share snapshot from a mac os computer run this command via terminal and provide the storage account key when prompted okay so i'll do one thing i'll copy this and here you can see that currently there is uh, no network drive I'll click on terminal okay and then press enter and now you see this is available you can see here right I'll do one thing I'll mount this up so that I can directly access it now uh, let's say if I if I want to copy this file here from Mac itself so now it is stored and if I want to see in the browse option uh, refresh so you can see that pp.html is also available okay so this is something uh, sorry this is the pp.html file so this is how basically you can access uh, the file share not only from the windows operating system but from uh, your mac itself also or from the linux itself if you if you are running the linux operating system you can just run the script there in the terminal and everything is done right so uh, this is uh, something a very uh, basic uh, tutorial about how to uh, set up the Azure file share in the Azure portal and how to mount it into your local file system of Windows operating system or Mac operating system. In the next part of the video, we will see how to basically uh, access uh, this file share or access this resource uh, through uh, a language for the business central. Okay. So that's it in the today's video. If you like it, request it, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.